only the side pieces next to each other. You want the holes faced up towards you. The back should be smooth. Insert one of these in every outside hole. This would be an inside hole and this would be an outside hole. We are going to use the outside holes for the metal. Now our wood pieces will conveniently fit next to our metal pieces, like so. For this demo, I think it will be easier to start at the top so you can see what I'm doing. The top shelf has these four easy to notice circles which are used for stacking sneaker thrones. So we're going to get our top piece, or A, with these faced up. We're going to insert this into the right side or piece E. Make sure that your smooth side is facing the front. There's a rugged side and that will be facing the back. Once you've slid the piece on, you'll need to secure it with two of these. The middle shelf, piece B, has a completely smooth side, so it's easy to identify. Just like piece A, one side is rugged, one side is smooth. Be sure the smooth side is facing the front. The bottom shelf, or piece C, can be identified by this lip. It is the only shelf with this. Don't forget to secure each shelf as you go. So let's get our left side of the shelf added. At this point, grab the remaining wood pieces you have left. We'll want to place these on the inside holes of each shelf. You'll want to align these slots with the one that's laying on the ground. I have found it easiest to put the middle shelf in first. And then rock side to side. Versus trying to put them all in at once. Before securing the left side of the sneaker thrown down, you want to add your front panels. Now with the front panels added, let's secure the left side down. When the left side of the case is secured, close the front doors. And gently bring the sneaker thrown down onto a soft surface, like carpet. You can use a towel if needed. So now let's get our back panels added. We set these aside a while ago. Let's go on the outside because of these holes. That's obviously an outside and this is going to go in the middle. There's nothing to screw into the middle. We want to use L screws to secure the back plates in. There's pre-drilled holes. This should be easy. If it doesn't go in easily, you're likely not putting it in the right spot. You don't want a gap in the middle. This will show when the case is complete. Once you have the back secured on, make sure you take this opportunity to screw in the foot pieces as well. There's going to be a small hole that is already pre-drilled where you can put the foot pieces into. I find it easiest to put the screw through first and then press against the pre-drilled hole. Once you've found your spot, you should be able to easily screw this in. This method tends to be quick and easy. 
From here it's time to remove our film. So I like to start with the bottom. It tends to be harder to get to. So I lean the case forward and just peel the film away. There's actually going to be a film underneath as well. So be sure to get both. Now we need to attach the handles. To get the glass pointed up so I don't have to hold it, I push the screw through and then begin to screw on the handle. Drawer complete. Last thing we're going to want to do is install the LEDs. These come in a nice package all on their own. Both strips are going to come on one reel. Let's make sure to get the strips off. Attach the connector pins to the end. This makes it way easier to find them later. Only one side should be able to accept the adapter pins. The other side should be plastic. Unscrew the battery pack so you can add double A's. These are not included. Once you've removed the screw and the plate, you can put the batteries in. Like most electronics, negative side goes against the springs. And now we can reattach. Put the 3M tape facing the same way and attach your pins. Your light should turn on. Check your on and off switch if they do not. Once you've peeled off the red protection, you can just apply pressure. I like to put the piece of Velcro into the top right corner, leaving a few inches on each side. Now we're going to get the LED lights put into the case. You can put them in how you see fit. I put my LED strip across the bottom of each shelf. You'll need to remove this plastic strip before your remote control works.